is very nice, yes. Well, it's kind of zoomed in. It, it is show work. Should we do? I watched Borat last night. This is bad. Should we do whole video in Kazakhstan accent? No? Okay. What's going on everyone? Matias Matias 710 wx here and today I'm going to be giving you my 100% honest official review of the Megatoke XL. I have a little bit of weed, a little bit of bongs, a little bit of... Like, there's stuff. There's stuff to do. Oh, I guess I need banter. Oh, this is bad guys. Never watch Borat the night before you have to film something. Like, if you had a big speech, that would be the one thing I'd recommend not doing is to fucking watch Borat. So, Megatoke XL. What we're going to do is do a couple dabs out of them, a couple weed hits out of them, go over what it is, what it costs, and then what I think. I gotta grab the coils. Okay, yes. I have a box of coils, okay. So, these can be used for both herb and oil, which I think is really, really awesome. Um, they don't have any screen, any LCD, anything like that, any light, for that matter. Just this button right here, and then the chamber on top. I don't know how I feel about that 100%. Um, at times it does become kind of confusing. I'm just sitting there like, okay, is it running? But so far I really have seen no reason for me to think that it's going to be a bad product because there's no screen because it's worked so far. So, and the reason I was so interested in this pen, first of all, people had asked for it for a long time, so why didn't you do this? Um, asking why I haven't reviewed this, if it's a piece of shit, or... Uh, I, I honestly didn't know. So, definitely gonna go through and let you know what I think personally, if I think it's a good buy or not. Um, but the first thing, yeah, that really drew me in was the fact that you could smoke flour out of it. I'm going to put in one of the... Oil coils. And the first thing I notice about these coils is that it's pretty much just another coil for any other pen. It looks identical. So if you guys can see in there, there is, uh, there's two little uh, wire wrapped rods and when you press the button those wires heat up, heating the rods which in turn vaporizes your oil. So literally nothing at all special there, but let's go ahead and see how it works. I'm using the gold one. There's some dabs stuck to this mat over here. Look at that. And it just popped right, oh, popped right up. Um, oh wow, this is super shattered. But that could be good um, because with these, you kind of just want to get it right onto uh, the coils. I'm really trying to work on, on not saying uh as much because I've been doing it a lot. Nice big chunk and I'm thinking that's gonna be fairly easy for this to vaporize. Got a good fully charged battery in here. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on. And I don't need this little spring-loaded compression thing and since it's all gross with shit on the bottom, we're just not gonna use it. So go ahead, line this up. So yeah, I, I might not be, uh, I might not hate on this too hard if we get some nice big fat dabs. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oops, I forget, with these uh, vapor pens, you never turn them sideways with the oil leaks everywhere. <laughs> and it's a disaster. Hey, that wasn't half bad. Uh, <coughs> 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 fairly surprised. Um, <coughs> the first time I tried this with oil, it, it didn't work at all. I mean, I just got a couple light wisps, but I think that was because I had it upside down first, which if you're buying one of these, it will not work upside down with oil. So you can't use this as a dab rig or a dab pen in your rig.